Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another episode of JB Trickle RC. Um, in this episode, we return to ERC uh, for some paved oval RC racing action, and this is their annual special uh, turkey race. So uh, what it is is the winners of every class got a, a free turkey. Uh, the owners of the Hobby Connection there that run ERC were kind enough to go out, purchase some turkeys, enough for every class. Um, and they did that for the off-road series and the paved oval series, um, as well as the dirt oval series there. Um, I just raced paved oval on this day. and uh, But uh, a lot of fantastic racing, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, these special races, they're always a blast. Always great to hang out with your friends and such. But uh, to give you a little bit of a rundown of our format for this episode, um, I didn't go into detail about a lot of the classes in, in this particular video because I've done that in the previous Paved Oval video. So uh, I'll put a link for those down in the description for this one. Um, in the previous videos, I really go in and I explain what this breakout class is, what the 17.5 class is, and so on. But uh, So I will put that down in the description if you want to learn more about the classes. This episode, we're just going to kind of run with it, and uh, you're just going to get to see some good racing. Um, I covered, let's see here, five different classes at this race. Um, that was the uh, 7.5 breakout car class, the 8.0 breakout truck class, the 17.5 class, uh, on-road touring car, and on-road uh, touring trucks. So uh, we got uh, several different races to go with. So I think, you, I think you'll enjoy the episode. But uh, to give you a recap of my day, um, I went there, again, was gonna race my 8.0 breakout truck as well as my 17.5 uh, monster lock car, and uh, which is this right here. And we ran into some issues. Um, in practice, I had a very good car, a uh, very fast car. Uh, but unfortunately, one of my screws here backed out. Going down the track, car started getting squirrely. Whenever I pulled it off, Come to find out it had stripped out the uh, part of the uh, front end assembly. So I wasn't able to race that in the video. That's part of RC racing, sometimes it happens. I didn't have the parts. Uh, the available hobby shop there didn't have the particular part I needed in stock at the time. But I did, however, get to run my 8.0 truck still, which is an absolute blast. Uh, I got you some first person view footage, uh, you know, all kind of good stuff with that class. And I still covered the 17.5 Pro class, even though I wasn't able to race it. But uh, again, guys, I really hope you enjoy the video. But again, guys, I know this video is a little bit late, but since it's Thanksgiving themed and a turkey race, I do want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. 
And there's Kennedy out there. So be courteous, be cautious. Another marshal up there. Stay low, stay low, stay low. I know there's shadows up there. So stay low on the back stretch. Somebody's looking by his shoes. He's still up there. Stay low on the back stretch. Stay low on the back stretch. Coming all that craziness out of the way right now. 45 seconds to have Ron LaPlante showing the way with Ron Kelly seconds. Ron applying all kinds of pressure, trying to go around the outside. Not sure if he can make a stick. He's that in the mind, Hunter. That is the leader right in front of him. Probably doing the smart thing and letting, letting Hunter get all around him there. Next truck in line is Leslie. And then Matt. Matt now moving up to second. So the next car behind you, Bobby, is for position. Matt Waters bumped. Oh, Dylan Hunt breaking out that lap. The two bump guys doing a great job. Right now, one of them is second, trying to go for the lead. Leslie going to get back by another back straight. I was so busy watching the race. That means Leslie Evans is the leader. And Matt Waters is second. J.D. Tricker in third, Donald Tilly in fourth, Bobby Fowler back to fifth. So Bobby Fowler and Hunter Heaton are now racing for position due to that breakout. So Hunter, the car in front of you is now on the same lap as you. With 15 seconds to go, 15 seconds to go. Trying to pick up your leader, Wesley Evans, right now. Coming down the front stretch, maybe? No, yes, there he is. Right behind Hunter Heaton. Hunter going off in the grass. Oh. Inspired. Everybody keep going until I say you're done. Robbie, Ron, Hunter, Bobby, Donald, J.D., Matt, Leslie, and Dylan. Everyone is finished. The race is over. You're winning with 45-603. Wesley Evans. Second place. With a 45-604, Matt Rogers. Third place, J.B. Trickle, 45-605. Thank you, fellas. We got them lined up. We got Marshalls. 7-5 breakout, 81 coming at you in less than five. Is that nice getting a little wet up there? Just a lot of tea. I'm going to leak it out of tea. I thought it was good. We'll have to see how this pans out. We got a gaggle of cars down the back stretch right now. Top six in a freight. Long as slings are alive, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Joe is still starting to run this game. He's going to finish the second one for Ryan Evans back to field. Something fifth. Ryan fifth. And Matt Gore. And Leslie Evans looking to come home with the first half. In the bag. 35 seconds to go, drivers. 35 to go. Wesley, Curly, Stewart, Matt, George, and Donald. I don't really see any races on the racetrack right now. I scratched that George and Donald perhaps. George coming across our finish line. Donald Tilly right behind him in the white and orange. With 15 seconds to go. That's the only race I see. Donald going to the outside. Can he make it stick? He does. As long as he doesn't break up. The oh! Him and Matt Nash get together. It's all right, you're safe. You're safe. We got you. Oh, We're here. I'm a fire. Okay. Oh, it's all right, you're not it. on fire. I knew it, you're lying. I'm fire. There is no fire. I'm a fire. Right, come back here. Oh my God, help me, I don't want to die. Oh, stop, stop and roll. You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby. I'm on fire. You're not on fire. The first stretch. Careful, man, we only got a dead car.
And Mac is broke, it looks like. Man, that was a wild last lap there. Holy smokes. Okay, let's see what the dust settled in. With the dust settled, Wesley Evans coming home the winner. Curly coming home second. Stuart Strickland third. George Rodriguez fourth. Donald Tilly coming home fifth. Have a look at up here, Scott. Chuck, ready to go? I hit him stop, so. All right, driver, six minutes on the clock. A1, 17 5 monster ride getting started. In less than five. Track tents all lower than what these guys are accustomed to, but they're making it happen. Self McCoy down the back stretch in the Rusty Wallace looking like, trying to get away from Ron Kelly. Chuck with the fast lap of the race right now is 6 4 7. And Ron Kelly just took that back with a 6 3 9. Chuck with a 6 4 3. George with a 6 5 1. Robert with a 6 6 4. Brett with a 6 7 0. Robert with a 6 5 1 that lap through. I hear you, Robert Toe. Oh, more. Remember for the second A man, we are inverting how you finished, not how you started. That's how it gets interesting. So Ron Kelly going to start last in the next main. 30 seconds, drivers, 30 seconds to go. Waller, 55, 602. Waller, 53, 605. Five seconds, drivers, five seconds. <laughs> keep going until I say you're done. Everybody, keep going until I say you are finished. Waller, Chuck, Brett, Robert, you are all finished. The race is completed. Your winner, 17 5 Monster Lock, A Main number one, Ron Kelly. And he's out there. Okay, corner monsters, let's spread them out, spread them out, spread them out. We're going to get started. In less than five. We're going to the grass a little bit. He recovers nicely. Colton will let him back in line. Meanwhile, John. Hillary. Third, Bill Boston, fourth, Robert Warren, fifth. It's long race, guys. We only got a minute down. Not even a minute down. New leader coming across the start finish line. Still Bill Boston right there behind him. Oh, I see. I see that. Yeah. Bill, I'm going to add you a lap. I see where you missed the lap. I see you missed the lap, but I see what happened. When you still across the strike there, it never started that lap for you, Bill, but I got it in there. You are now second. Bill Voss just took the lead from John, who did that little whip in the 180 as I fixed the scoring. So your leader is Bill Voss down the back stretch. Yeah, thank you for hanging in there with me until I got that figured out. Second place, John Gooley with Cole Stewart and Pinky in third. I, think I got a hunch the shade is causing some driving issues because guys are having a hard time seeing some things. That's part of racing outdoors, fellas. We need a pin boss right now with John Gilbert in second, Cole Stewart in a solid third, Steve Thornton in fourth, Robert Moore in fifth. Scott White making it out there. Scott, I'm going to add you a couple laps. Put you back on the same pace as everybody else. <laughs> or at least it's Robert. Followed by John Gilbert in second place. Followed by Cole Stewart in third place. Followed by Purple Panda in fourth place. Okay, three and a half to go, three and a half to go. Bill Voss showing the way right now in 24-602. John Gilbert's in second, two and a half seconds back. Five. Oh, I'll let Breebree have that. Go get her, Will. Got Will Crow falling in right behind Breebree. They're coming in almost too wide. Oh, Will getting caught up there. Help him out. 
Fold on the right vein waiting. And win on the first lap. But that was still exciting to watch, boy. It was them in there three wide. Got one turtled up. Easy, everybody. Let's see what your leader is right now. Your leader, Bree Bree, coming across the start finish line with a massive lead. Oh! Will getting up on his side. Will still sitting in solid four. Steve Thornton in second. John Gilroy in third. Followed by Steve Thornton in second place. So right now it's Bree John Cole, Will, Steve, and Mike. Bree Bree coming down the short chute, coming through the keyhole. Fluorescent yellow with the silver cab and tail on it. Steve Thornton in a solid second now in that solid green. Going through the outer chicane. Will Crow, I'm not sure what happened to Will there. I see he is stuck back here with Cole and John. I see what's up. Do a great job there, Will. Just try to keep it on all fours if you can. Sounds easier than it is, I know. There you go, nice recovery. Got Mike Revis coming up behind you. That is for position. That orange truck trying to catch that blue and white one going down the back stretch. That is for position. That's for fifth. In less than five. At the fifth now, JD back to six. Matt Rogers is seventh, Donald in eighth, Curly in ninth. We got a gaggle of trucks down the back stretch now. It's a no, it's a freight train. Almost knows the tail too. Only got one truck out of it right now. Bobby Fowler making his way around. He just broke out. He just broke out. Bobby and Hunter getting together when they go to turn one, number one, but they save it. You're only going to get by Hunter. Hunter will try to get back underneath Billy. Bobby trying to get, <laughs> trying to get up there and uh, mess with Ron Kelly, who is sitting in second right now. 805 for Robbie Black, 811 for Ron Kelly, 822 for Bobby Fowler. Billy with an 821, Donald with an 816. Donald back in another 801, currently breaking out that lap. Three minutes and 15 to go, guys. Three minutes and 15 to go. Unless the other's breaking out down that by. That will bump him down. I heard some body stretch. We got a five on the body stretch. Stay high on the body stretch. Your leader getting corrected with that. Oh, tough luck. That'll put Ron Kelly to the front with Bobby Fowler in second. Dylan Hunt up the third, Donald Kelly in fourth, Robbie Black back up. We got our drivers. We're going to get started in less than five. And off they go. 75 breakout. All on the track. Oh, we got one pulled up. Rough start for you guys. Really, as you can't win on the first lap. Curly doing the right thing and waiting. I appreciate that, Curly. Donald Curry leaving it over here in turn number one. Not sure what's going on with Donald. So that's tough luck, man. Oh, get that. We're going to see what's going on. All right, so your own leader, Chuck McCoy. Followed by Stuart Strickland, George Rodriguez, Wesley Evans, Curly, and Donald Tilly. Seconds. The top are in first place. Right, so tough, tough luck there, Donald, man. I hate to hear that, bro. Hope you still had a good time today, man. You were running awesome. With 43 seconds to go, so Stewart finding something here at the end with some seven fives. Allow him to eat into that lead a little bit. 
0.48 seconds, so we're less than half a second now. Six, a 7.6 for your leader, 7.7 seven for Stu that time through. Gap is still at 5 point, uh, 0.5. 15 seconds, drivers, 15 seconds. Boy, trying to come home with the win. Five seconds to go, drivers. I don't know if we get another lap or not, you might. Oh, it is. Wesley Evans, you are done. Chuck and Curly, you are done. George and Stewart, you are done. 17, or is it 75 breakout, 82. Your winner is going to be George Rodriguez. George, George. 47, 6, 7, 6. Followed by Stewart. Oh, that's right. You win. 47, 6, 7. Six minutes on the clock, 82. 17, 5 monster lock coming at you. Less than five. Take the pull with the whole shot again. Down the back stretch they go. Chuck McCoy, your early leader. Robert Moore, second. Ryan Kelly, third. Brad Zachary, fourth. George Rodriguez, losing it. Step on the back stretch. We got one low. We got one low. George not giving up, though. Hang in there. 30 seconds down. 30 seconds down. Chuck McCoy, 6'8. Back to the other one, 6'8. Robert with a 6'9. Ryan with a 6'7. Brad with a 7'2. Drew with seven out. Careful out of two, we got one looping. After five minutes, 17 seconds, the top drivers are Ron Kelly in first place, followed by Chuck McCoy in second place, followed by Brad Jackery in third place, followed by Cooper Kendall in fourth place, followed by Gabe Rodriguez in fifth place. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds to go now, 30 seconds to go. Order has not changed. The gap between Brett and Robert is maintaining at about a second. George coming up behind Robert and doing several laps behind him. So now the boom, Robert too gets in one. But doesn't lose it, hangs on to it. Five seconds to go, guys. Five seconds to go. George, Ron, Chuck, everybody's done but Brett. And Brett, you have finished. The race is completed. 17 5 also like A2. Coming to a close with your winner being Ron and Kelly. We got them lined up. We're going to get started, drivers, in less than five. <laughs> and off they go. Oh, watch the accordion crumble. Oh, Cole Stewart going to loop it. Looks like a cold dire deal there. We'll give him a few laps. I know these guys especially need to start warming some tires up. We'll see how things shake out right now. We got Robert Moore down the back stretch trying to keep Scott White behind him. Scott going to get by him though as they come across the start finish line. Oh, and then Robert taps him. Oh, man. Still showing Scott White in the lead right now. Man. Steve Thornton in fourth place, followed by Purple Panda in fifth place. 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds to go. It's Bill, Cole, John, Robert, Steve, Mike, and Scott. That is the order. Bill running right past John Gilreath. 15 seconds left. John trying to follow in his footsteps there. Bill just hit, oh, did hit a dot, but they're still duking it out. Cole, in the meantime, is catching up. Five seconds, the clock is about to expire. Cole is still up on the wheel. That goes to Tone, Bill, Cole, John. You are all three finished, waiting on Robert, Steve, and Mike. Mike Reed is done. There's Mike, there's Robert, and everybody is finished. You're a winner of 25-5 TCA mate number two is Bill Voss, 22-601. Six minutes on the clock. We got them lined up and ready to rock and roll. We're going to get started in less than five. <laughs> Off they go. Oh, we got carnage on the front stretch here.
After 45 seconds, the top drivers are Bree Bree in first place, followed by Will Crow in second place, followed by Steve Thornton in third place, followed by Mike Rivas in fourth place, followed by John Joe Reed in fifth place. All right, right now we got Bree Bree showing the way with Will Crow in second, Steve Thornton in third, Mike Revis fourth, John and Cole back here having at each other. I like it. They're having a blast. They are having a blast. I'm jealous. I'm jealous, guys. Three minutes has been changed left on the clock right now. I'm trying to find my 17 5 sheet. I must have put it back. Three and a half to go. Three and a half to go. Bree Reese on the way. Will Crow in second. Steve Thornton in third. Mike Revis up to third now. Steve Thornton still driving around in topless. Followed by Mike Revis in fourth place. Followed by getting around Mike. So that is the race for third right there. Thornton going to get around him. Steve still hanging in there. Getting off a little bit, but hanging on to it. Out of boy, Steve. Out of boy. John Gilry jumping off the top row and just drop kicking. <laughs> Cole Stewart. <laughs> I can't even get my words together. I'm still flabbergasted by that whole thing. 45 seconds left. 45 seconds to go, guys. 45 seconds to go. Breaver, you coming across start finish line. Got this one on lock. Will Crow coming across lap number 12. They are the only two on a 12-lap pace right now. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, drivers. 30 seconds to go. Top drivers are Bree in first place, followed by Will Crow in second. 30 place. seconds to go. By Steve Thornton in fourth place, followed by John Joe Reed in fifth place. Oh! Steve giving me a, a, a wake up call here at the booth. Excellent job, Will. Will coming through here like a champ. Got a nice line, keeping it smooth. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just going at it. <laughs> Bill getting caught up. Oh! The carnage. The race is over. Keep going until I say you're done. Will, you are done. Bree, you are finished. Waiting on Mike, Cole, and John. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video of the paved oval race at ERC. Um, I did just want to touch base on you before I let you go about a couple quick things. Uh, what I was going to do is give you a rundown of the final race winners. Um, the uh, overall race winners. And if I say that and you're scratching your head, I, I get that. What ERC does for their paved oval and, and their touring car program, uh, maybe even more. I haven't had a chance to film the dirt uh, off-road series yet. But what they do is, based on your heats, whoever TQs for the A main one, they go in that order, just like any other regular race. So your TQ, whoever gets the top qualifier gets to start on the pole, and it goes down the list. And then you run main event number one that way. Then they run a main event number two, a main two. And in that one, they invert the field based on, uh, I believe, the, the results from the, the first race. Or it may still be the qualifier. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I think it's based on the results. So then that basically inverts the field. So whoever won that race starts in the back. Um, and then it lines up forward. So the guys that finish in the back in the first a main get to start on the pole and up front the second A main. Then what they do to determine overall winners, they use basically a point system. And what that point system done, the best way to, to give you an example to kind of explain it, let's say somebody won the first main and they come in dead last in the second main due to an accident or whatever. Well, the other guy that may have finished second in both A mains, he's the overall winner because his points averages out better. You still get you know, your individual wins for the A mains, and that's a W. You can mark that down in your book. You won that main uh, event, but the averaging of the two is your overall winner, and that's how the results for the turkey winners was resolved. That's how the results for your trophy winners are resolved whenever they do things of that nature as well. So I uh, just want to give you a quick explanation of that. Because again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up the uh, overall race winners as well so you can check that out, who got to take a turkey home. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And please, if you enjoy what these videos and what I'm doing here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you get notified of new uploads. I'm trying to help the sport and hobby grow. I'm trying to help new people getting into it. And I'm just trying to give some good RC racing entertainment. So if you help my channel grow, I can better help you know, the, the racetracks and promote them as well. 
So again, guys, if you like what I'm doing, I'd greatly appreciate your support as well. Thank you again, and I'll catch you next time.